How's it going gamers? RebelX here in the War Room and today we're looking at Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain Tips and Tricks Part 5. This is where we're looking at the new map Africa and where you can find a lot of really good material goods at a construction site. How to take on the new Mist uh, Skull Squad along with a few more other tips. So let's get into that right here right now. So let's start things off by how to get some really powerful soldiers onto your mother base. Now, the best way to do this, as I said before in my other videos, is doing the uh, combat deployment log. This allows you then to launch soldiers into different uh, scenarios and have them upgrade if they survive the mission. The best way to do this is to take your level C and D soldiers and put them in with a squad of at least 1 to 2 B soldiers. You do take the risk of losing those B soldiers if they're killed, but it's well worth it. Once all your soldiers survive, they all get upgraded. Now, the next thing here is that you want to make sure that once you enter Africa, you capture every enemy vehicle you can get. Tanks are going to be deployed everywhere. Some of the best way to do this is to take on those missions where enemy tank unit has been spotted in this area or there's a transport vehicle moving out. Anything, try to grab these tanks as best you can. Don't destroy them. Not only will you gain a lot of GMP points for tanks, I think around two to three tanks will net you over half a million GMP points, but also too is that now you get to use them for your own combat missions. So the game works in a way where a certain uh, high deployment missions in your combat log can only be accessed if you have armored vehicles that your fellow uh, squad mates can use when on a mission. Now keep in mind when you do try to take enemy vehicles, it does gain a lot of attention from the enemy, so be careful, make sure that you're always watching your back, and have a good rocket launcher handy just in case a pesky enemy chopper spots you. In the end, once you take these weak soldiers and put them in those high missions along with armored vehicles that you captured, you're going to see right here that you're going to see your soldiers gaining A+. You're going to be able to upgrade your mother base a lot faster, unlock new weapons, new gadgets a lot quicker once everyone's at a high rank. So this is definitely worth your time when trying to invest in getting better soldiers. Now let me show you here on the map in Africa where you can find a high abundance of material containers scattered all over this large mining construction site. You're going to want to look for a place called the Kajena Mine. This place can actually be accessed two ways, either through a main mission or you can go there directly after you enter Africa. Keep in mind though, this is a heavily guarded area. They have two armored transport vehicles that patrol the area, so keep that in mind if you want to break into this place early without doing the main mission first. Now, these containers are scattered all over the place. The majority of them are actually inside the mine itself, the construction area. Others are actually scattered on the outskirts of it. Patrol the entire area. These containers can contain literally 5,000, between 5,000 to up to 750 uh, points worth of materials to at your disposal. These containers are well worth your time to go after. There's well worth the risk also to enter in here too. The best part too is that there's actually a lot of high ranked enemy soldiers in this area. So make sure you scan every soldier. I have captured actually five soldiers who had A plus rankings in their certain fields. This is medicine, combat, you name it. That's what they were at. So this is definitely a place worth going after. Now speaking of which, once you get these materials, you want to go back to your mother base and upgrade the combat platform along with your R&D and further combat units. This way it allows you then to take on those new soldiers without having to worry about running out of space. Now let's talk about your helicopter for a quick second. Now as you enter Africa, the enemy is going to be possessing a lot better anti-air weaponry and just overall better armored vehicles. So make sure you're constantly upgrading your chopper. I recommend you get your chopper's armor to at least grade 3. Also too is that making sure you buy you know air to ground missiles. Uh, uh, better flares, better machine guns for your chopper. Trust me, you're going to need this. The enemy can tear apart your chopper very quickly in this game. There's going to be a lot of new uh, ground uh, weaponry that the enemy can use against your chopper. Now last, but certainly not least, let's talk about the new Mist Squad, the Skulls you'll be taking on in Africa. Now you'll be taking these guys on when you're trying to hijack a transport. First thing you should do is try to uh, abduct the uh, tanks first that are protecting this cargo. The tanks aren't necessarily going to attack you, but hey, let's get those tanks so we can get some extra GMP points. Now the next thing too is that I brought along Quiet for me because she can actually use good backup and a good distraction when I needed to back off and reload my rocket launcher or I needed to back off to heal. Now I brought along a rocket launcher, it was a grade 3 rocket. Keep in mind if you want to use a rocket launcher or any type of weapon against these guys, make sure it's a high level weapon. The reason why is because these particular type of uh, fighters are a lot stronger than the mist guys you took on in Afghanistan and also too is that they can kill you very very quickly. Try to use the same strategies you used before when trying to lead them towards their back towards a wall if you can, or try to aim for the ground because these guys can dodge your rocket very quickly along with other gunfire. For me, as I said, I like using a rocket because the splash damage can hit these guys very well. These actually new mist guys can actually develop a sort of shield, a barrier of a rock stepping out of the ground to defend themselves when you're taking them on. So keep in mind when you're fighting these mist guys that you're not underestimating their abilities. Keep attacking them, aim for the head if you have any type of high powered rifles, but use a rocket if you can because it will down them very quickly.
All right, gamers, that's all the time we have for today here in the War Room. Hopefully you enjoyed our Metal Gear Solid 5, the Phantom Pain Tips and Tricks Part 5. Don't worry, we're doing a lot more gameplay tips and tricks of this game as we explore further into Africa and taking on more bosses in Metal Gear Solid. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe to the War Room. Keep it here too, because we're doing a lot more videos on new games coming very, very soon. Until then, we'll see you guys next time here in the War Room.